Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 121 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.7 and 5.8. And in this video, we are going to continue working on the pin code functionality that we have started uh, in the last few videos. So we able to see that the pin code, we able to check the pin code for the product for the uh, uh, that the product uh, is going to deliver in that place in your place or not. Okay, that thing we have done in the product detail page, but uh, now we are going to add this check at the order placement because uh, even if the uh, product is not available uh, for your uh, place, even then uh, the user can continue shopping that product uh, because we are uh, we can't uh, disallow the user uh, not to shop. User can uh, still shopping for that, but the uh, pin code uh, he can check here. Uh, okay, so here you can see we have made that uh, pin code stable uh, for checking the pin code in the last few videos okay and we have added some of the pin codes and if these pin codes um, uh, we uh, check then it will tell that the pin code is available otherwise uh, it is not available in some cases if the pin code is not located in this table okay so if we are going to continue okay like this if the user going to continue and 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 user we just need to log in okay i'm going to log in with this account commit 100 yopmail.com okay if, yeah no it is not login we can log in with some other account like uh, this one we can oh sorry for that um, We can log in with some other account. Uh, okay, we can check in table that which accounts are currently going on. Okay, mm. and see here we can log in with this one. We can log in with Amit 400 at the date of yourmail.com as well. Okay, this one one two three four five six. Okay, so we can log in with this account and. No, still not login because we don't have the password. And if I log in with this account, it's program at gmail.com. This is kind of admin login. We can try with John at the of Okay, John 123456. And still, uh, please confirm your email. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to activate we status is uh, inactive that's why we can't able to log in now we can try again with uh, john at the rate of the open.com one two three four five six okay and now we can log in once again and you can see that we can reach at checkout page and here uh, you can fill the test address whatever address address you are having okay so you can fill that address and uh, yeah so after filling uh, we can it is not working no issue okay after filling the address uh, see here the this is the shipping pin code and here if you are going to update any pin code like if i'm going to add this pin code one for one for one zero zero one and going to continue uh, click on checkout okay then this pin code uh, we need to check here but here we can continue but after that if the user is going to place order we need to revert back the user to this order view page okay so because that uh, pin code is uh, not valid or you can revert back the user, user redirect back the user uh, to the checkout page itself if the um, pin code is not uh, uh, means is not there uh, in this list okay at both the cases you can do this task okay first i'm going to uh, add this in order placement okay and for that uh, we just need to update few of the function in product controller okay let's do it in product controller we are going to update that place order function okay and here uh, we are going to update this function and and here you can check it out uh, that uh, we will do in the same manner that uh, pin code
code count we are going to uh, check that pin code count okay so here uh, after skipping details we are getting because we require that skipping pin code okay so we can straight away uh, check here after that skipping details here we are going to do that uh, pin code count check okay that pin code count and then we can take it simply with db table and that uh, table that is pin code okay so uh, we can find that pin code uh, pin code is the column in pin code table and pin code we are going to compare with uh, shipping uh, means uh, shipping pin code okay and we can get it with this one and you can see here as well we are having so we can simply compare this pin code we are simply uh, may check this pin code in pin code table okay and after that we can simply give here count okay now we are going to check that if uh, dollar pin code count uh, is equal to equal to zero okay then we are going to return uh, the user back to that order view page okay return Redirect back. Uh, okay. With slash message error. And here we are going to write that your location is not available. Or delivery please choose another location okay so we can uh, return back the user to uh, to the order view page with this one and in order view page we need to simply uh, show that error message and here we need to add we can add uh, from the card page uh, here we are having so we can simply add this one error message after here we can add this okay now we can try we are going to place order with this pin code this shipping pin code and uh, here we can uh, simply check the cod okay and click on place order okay and you can see it will take back to you at order view page with the error message your location is not available for delivery please choose another location okay then the person can go back uh, to the checkout page okay but but what we need to do uh, we need to show we need to uh, means redirect the user uh, we can redirect the user back to the checkout page itself so that uh, the customer uh, will not face any kind of issue and here as well we can uh, bring out that uh, that uh, check this check we need to add here also uh, so that user will not able to reach even at all review page user can simply uh, reach here in checkout page and can update his uh, pin code and this check we can also do okay so simply update this check here okay here in checkout page uh, so that uh, user uh, can update uh, pin code here only okay so let's do that thing as well so we are going to um, copy this same thing uh, same check we are going to copy and we're going to place in uh, checkout function okay here we are going to place and here you can see uh, once again uh, it is uh, we are having uh, that in course we are having that uh, billing name billing addresses and shipping pin code as well okay uh, so uh, user it is updating and delivery address here okay that is fine and here okay yeah so
So before redirecting the user to order view page, we can redirect back the user to uh, uh, means this uh, billing shipping address page once again. Uh, and it's up to you that you want to have this check in the beginning or you want to check, uh, uh, you want to add the check at the bottom because if you want to have the check at the beginning, then whatever data uh, user have uh, means uh, type here, uh, means new data like new billing address, new shipping address. Uh, if you have the check at the top, then it's not getting uh, saved and user will be uh, back with the old information. So I think we must add the check at the bottom so that the other details will not get affected and other details will get saved. And with the save details, user will reach in this page and user uh, just need to update the pin code and nothing else because all the information we have updated and only pin code is wrong. So user can simply update the pin code or uh, even in some cases you can see that pin code belongs to the shipping address itself. So user might need to uh, update the complete shipping address in case of pin code uh, invalid or in some cases uh, user by mistake added the wrong pin code of his location but the address is correct that thing can also happen so you can uh, do uh, this thing as per your own requirement okay and as far as i'm doing i am doing as per my own requirement or you can say that i am doing uh, as i feel that the best approach is this one but you can change the approach as per your own requirement as per your own uh, uh, need okay so uh, i'm going to uh, add this check at the bottom and here after this one i'm going to add this check here oh, okay so i'm going to have this check uh, like i have copied from there and simply paste it here and here i'm going to uh, i'm having this uh, shipping pin code so I don't require to fetch again okay and I can simply add this check here yeah we are having that dollar data shipping pin code and this one I'm going to compare here with uh, in this pin code table okay so let's save it here let's have it here okay in shipping pin code I am having now okay now you can see uh, now our query is complete pin code count equal to db pin code where pin code is this one okay that is fine and pin code count equal to, equal to zero then uh, yeah after that we can return that your location is not okay fine that is and and here uh, in checkout page as well checkout blade file as well uh, we can we can uh, have that error message already there so now we can try okay now we can refresh this page once again and now i'm going to try and now to going to click on checkout with this pin code and you can see after clicking on checkout page a user will be redirected back to this checkout page itself and it is written your location is not available for delivery please choose Please enter another location. We will uh, say we will get this error message. Please enter another location, another delivery, another shipping. Uh, please enter another delivery location. Okay, okay, that is fine. That is understood. And in another place as well, we can have that uh, same message. Please order view. Okay, place order. Please enter another location. Okay, now it is secure. Now means the user needs to add another location if he wants to get his order okay so uh, now it is completely dependent upon this pin code table okay and user have to select uh, user have to enter the pin code correct pin code and you must uh, you must must make sure that you will get all the pin codes all the available all the stable pin codes uh, from your courier partner and add in this Table so that uh, uh, no uh, means no such order will come uh, that you need to 
refund the user because it will make the bad impression if you are going to uh, say that your order is get rejected due to the invalid pin code or something else okay so uh, this is the thing uh, the, uh, as far as pin code is concerned but uh, yeah few more things we can do here so uh, that is uh, we can uh, make the pin code first of all uh, let me uh, check with this one i'm going to add some valid pin code okay so after adding the valid pin code uh, it will take me to the order view page and it will also take me to that place order i'm going to place order with this valid pin code as it is going to check in this pin code table okay so now the another check that is required like uh, we are having cod and paypal option and might be another option we will add in future but uh, not all the pin codes are uh, valid for both COD and pay PayPal. Uh, PayPal means like prepaid orders are having their own pin codes and COD cash on delivery is having their own pin codes. So in many, uh, in many circumstances, in many situations, uh, you are having the different pin codes uh, for different coded partner for, for COD and prepaid basically because COD and prepaid both are different thing and COD is not available uh, everywhere uh, because at some places uh, you only uh, need uh, want to deliver the prepaid or you want to get the payment in advance okay so uh, both can have the uh, means separate pin code table at some cases so in that manner uh, we need to uh, make the separate pin code table okay and one we will call like COD pin codes and one we will call like prepaid pin codes. Okay, so let's do this step as well. This is the minor step, not the major one, not the big enough. And what I am going to do, I am going to export this pin code list first of all, and I'm going to use the same list for COD pin codes as well as for prepaid pin code. Okay, so this one. So what I am going to do, I am going to just open this one and we'll make changes. I will do like this, COD underscore pin code, okay. And here as well, COD pin code. And at every place, uh, we are going to make it like COD pin code, okay. And we can move and COD pin code, COD pin codes okay that is fine and now we are going to import this cod pin codes table okay so we are going to import this one cod pin codes and okay so uh, some issue is coming but we are going to check that uh, whether which pin codes are coming here COD pin codes are here, but uh, it is not showing any pin codes. Okay, so uh, what we can do, we can add some of the pin codes uh, from here from the list. And you can see uh, ID pin codes, it is state cutter at updated that. Okay, so if we do like this, I can try to copy this pin code up in here and we'll paste it here so that it will get copied so let's try with this one uh, and it is still giving me error duplicate entry 5444 key primary okay we are going to check what is why it is giving issue 544 okay uh, it is giving issue because of that thing because it is repeating again and again that thing uh, 544 come to that command yeah because of this one okay so uh, actually this one here we need to update as well so that's why the issue is coming here we need to give it like COD pin codes once again okay so now it seems to be fine now we can try once again and we'll see that if complete list uh, now it is again giving me error at the place of 1085 okay you can check it out here we are again using it like this so we need to make sure that every 
time we need to do like this COD pin code so because our table name uh, has been updated okay so now we will check uh, here so now all the pin codes we have copied from pin codes table to COD underscore pin codes okay and in the same manner one more table we need to create and this time we are going to create that uh, COD uh, pin codes to we are going to update the COD pin codes to prepaid pin codes okay that table also we require to create and here you can see uh, that uh, we have uh, just updated that table as well and prepaid pin codes now it is and uh, at other places as well uh, we are going to update that pin codes to the cod pin codes as well sorry prepaid pin codes we are doing this time so prepaid pin codes and sorry for that Okay, so prepaid pin code and make sure that I have done here every place. Yeah, prepaid pin code. Okay, so here as well, prepaid pin code. I'm just copy and we paste everywhere where only pin codes are given. Now it is fine. And okay, now I'm going to save and we'll run this query uh, to make the table for prepaid pin codes. Okay. Uh, this step we are using to save time to create the table instantly both uh, COD and prepaid pin code you can do like this if you are going to make the uh, identical table okay then you can do like this in this manner you can get your table ready and okay now COD pin codes is ready and prepaid pin codes also ready we are going to check now uh, here okay go to see the pin codes here prepaid pin codes is fine and cod pin code is also fine okay so both the pin codes uh, table are ready and uh, now we can compare with here we need to add the condition and for that we need to add the condition at the order view page okay uh, yeah order view function in fact and here uh, we need to get that uh, means pin code uh, once again we need to compare that pin code once again like this in the same manner so here uh, once again we are going to uh, add that thing uh, yeah, after this one we can have like cod pin code first of all cod pin code from the cod pin code table okay we can simply get it like this okay so we are having that uh, that uh, here pin code uh, from uh, this one shipping details so we need to uh, so is right here shipping detail and out of that pin code okay here uh, we will create pin code like this okay so this one we can uh, write like this and this one we are doing for cod pin code count okay cod pin code and pin code that we are matching with this one okay and in the same manner we will do for prepaid pin code count okay prepaid pin code count and this one we are getting from prepaid like this okay prepaid pin code okay so after this one we can write here uh, COD pin code count and after this one prepaid pin code count like this okay so now uh, we are going to uh, compare this one in order view page uh, we will add the condition that uh, if uh, COD as well as prepaid is available so uh, a bit of if uh, here dollar COD pin code count that we are sending from here we are sending cod pin code count okay uh, cod pin code count is greater than zero uh, then we will show this one okay. and, if, and and for that thing also we are going to add another condition if uh, prepared pin code count then this one like this okay so now we have added the condition as well now see here that both the pin codes uh, this pin code is available so 
so that's why it is coming if i am going to move back and uh, and of course uh, if that pin code list is having um, that pin code of my area i'm going to insert that uh, new pin code uh, like uh, 141001 and it belongs to Ludhiana Punjab that is fine and and i am going to add this pin code in pin code list and here i am going to change 14101 and here i will check out and you can see that is in common pin code list this pin code is available but in both prepaid and non pin codes and uh, COD and non pin, co pin codes this pin code is not available because we have just added in pin code table but not in COD and prepaid so both option must not come no option will come in prepaid in payment gateways and here check here check payment method is empty there is no payment gateway available for this order okay so if in case uh, you feel uh, that the uh, shipping partner feel and the client feels and client is having the list uh, that uh, it is uh, available for cod or it is available for prepaid first we are going to add in prepaid okay uh, suppose it will get available for prepaid means the payment must be made in advance okay so uh, the pin code gets available suppose and uh, see here i'm going to refresh and prepaid option will come paypal option will come here and if it will also get available in cod then we will update the cod list as well and we'll uh, add in cod list as well this pin code and you can see we can simply add in cod list and you can refresh and you will get also get in cod as well okay so after that we can able to place order because now pin code is available for both cod and paypal okay and order will get placed by entering uh, by selecting that cod option okay so like this uh, we can uh, able to do that uh, pin code functionality and uh, see here the order has been placed and order number is 29 and amount is 500 and we can able to add that pin code check and uh, see here cod pin codes we have added prepaid pin codes we have added and pin codes uh, we have added earlier as well okay so uh, like this you can do at your end and uh, as far as pin codes are concerned make sure that you will contact your courier partner and get the list from there and you can update in your database as well so that uh, or only valid orders will come or no invalid orders will come that you can't deliver okay and now in next video we will do something else uh, still uh, many points are left in ecom series and don't forget to watch view.js series side by side we have started in this ecom series view.js and that will uh, completely change uh, means if you are uh, in some college if you are uh, uh, just started uh, your career if you are even experienced developer but uh, then you must learn these new things so view.js that really helps you uh, to learn even better uh, to learn even better coding means fast and secure coding and you will update yourself from jquery from ajax uh, to some other things like view.js and we will also going to start react very soon and this this technology will really help you uh, uh, means uh, uh, boost your knowledge and uh, will help you to get uh, a good job if you are uh, still looking for the job it will uh, really uh, make your excellent profile you are going to make and if you are in company then you are going to uh, learn these new things and going to implement these things and will make the uh, dream project means you will create the wonderful project okay so uh, follow that series as well view.js uh, that we are doing side by side along with this ecom series okay that's also in ecom as well okay so that's all for now and you can comment me if you have any queries okay so then have a nice time from amit gupta okay so goodbye